Two more. Man, it's done now. I got you. Abdo's got me. One more. I could stay the old day with Abdo. Yeah, you could. You really You're going to protect me. You're going to cook. Nice play, buddy. Lead off walk to Sal Dweck. That brings up Hank Shalam. <laughs> Hank goes the other way. That's going to fall. That's a fall. Fair ball by Hank right on the line. And it's been on first and second. Nobody out for AB rips one up the middle. That'll score at least one. One nothing. And it's been on second and third. Still nobody out. One nothing. You gotta believe. Round ball to third. Looks him back. There's one. And nobody scores there. That's one big out for to the moon. Up steps eight. Whoa. Steven! Oh! Caught by Steven Shalou at the tip of his glove. He snow cone that. Inside! So he walks Ruby, that walks a run home. Okay, Navy just got here. Has not thrown a warm-up pitch and steps up to the plate. Base is loaded, 2 nothing. you gotta believe. Ripped! That's a fair ball. One run will score. Two runs will score. It is a four spot for you got to believe. Navy did not throw a warm-up pitch. He was late to the field. Stepped up to the plate and ripped a base hit to score two more. Four, nothing. You got to believe. It. Smoked it. Got some energy this morning. Okay, bottom of the first. Again, Navy without any warm-ups gets a ground ball from Michael Cohen, retires him. Next batter, Steven Shalou, a ground ball. Beautiful play to get him. Navy gets through the inning unscathed. Next inning, bottom two. Elliot Sack is first at bat as a to the moon. He triples the opposite way. Way to make his presence known on his new squad. A leadoff triple. Juber, who had a huge day against NAB, here's a sack fly. Only Abe J. Cohen's arm can make this close, and he does. But to the moon gets on the board, they're down 4 1. Later in this game, ground ball deep in the hole. Shalou unloads on the cannon. To the moon gets the call that Haber, I guess he jumped up and landed in time uh, to get the speedy Abe J. Cohen. Great play by Stephen Shalou, either way. Later on, we have a sack fly by Jaime, deep left, runner tagging to third, and then we have our favorite tradition, the stupidity of he left early, he left early, he definitely left early, easy call, Blue, no doubt about it, you saw that, you saw that, right? And Blue gets sold, stupidity, this is what I hate when we do things like this, there's the catch, there's the guy on the bag, Ugh. ruins the game when we play like that. This play is slightly off camera, but it was a very slow roller to short. Shalou had to barehand the ball and laser it across the infield to get the speedy runner. Jordy Rameld, of course, was out with injury. Jaime Shama filling in at short, unable to make this play, and that loads the bases for Juber. Juber, like we said earlier, was hitting Navy hard all day long. Here's a clean base hit, scores two runs, and suddenly, life on the moon. Game tied up at four. To the moon, a chance to take a lead now. Fly ball, there's a man on third, one out. Elliot Saka goes halfway, draws the throw, and inexplicably gets caught up in a pickle over here. Score this 8-2, two, 5-2, two, a double play and a bad one for to the moon. It was four all with a man on third and one out there. A double play to end the threat. This game would go into extra innings. Uh, Steven Shalou defensively took over this game. Line drive caught, ground ball, play made, strong throw. He was on fire. Here he is at the plate, goes the other way. Sal Dweck robs him of a base hit to right. Um, some very strong defense on both sides of this game. Here's Juber with a double, but he gets stranded. We go to the 11th. Juber swinging. Oh, Navy snags it. There's one out. That'll bring up Bub. 
Bob rips one. It's open AB. He can't find it. And Bob will get a single. He ripped that ball, but AB looks okay. Hit him in the glove. Okay, Mo Haper batting. Mo pops one up. It may drop. It does drop. Bob's going three. And he's there. Man on the corner. Okay, here we are live, bottom 11. In all my years, I never felt like Norman was on my side. He always wanted to, now I'm that Bub's on, on my side. team, now that Bub's on my team, he's Let's excited! Go. Let's go! I love the one who knock last year. What are you yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah. Woo. Infield is in. Oh. One, two against an AB. Hello, 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 hello! Oh, and he goes down looking. Navy gets the much needed strikeout that he needed. And Sammy S is going to have to get a base hit to win this game for To the Moon. Maybe one strike from getting out of yet another jam. Men on the corners. There are two outs. Bottom 11 for all. Full count to Sammy S. Winning run at third. Two outs for all game. Bottom of the 11. And he walked up. It's bases loaded for Ralph Hannon. So, you take one here. I really think so. Oh! Any, any walk down to the moon wins the game. To the moon wins the game. Five, four in eleven innings. Thank you, boy. Thank you. Come on. Wow. Game two action from Oceanport. A lot of soft contact from both teams. This game was completed in one hour. There's a soft ground out. There is a fly, a pop up to the infield. Go to the third inning when To the Moon gets something going. Here's MC Michael Cohen with a leadoff single to left field. Next up is Steven Shalu. He'll ground out sharply to third. Hank the Hammer gets the lead runner. So there's one out, man on first. Then a four pitch walk to Juber. Juber gets on this men on first and second for Elliot Saka, who completely rocks one. He described this as the furthest ball he's ever hit, but he's tagged out at home. But two runs score for To the Moon. They go up to nothing. And that was more than enough for Ralph Hannon. Hannon pitched a two hitter. He did have five walks, but only two base hits all day. Nay was sharp as well. There's a strikeout. Here's a pop-up to the infield. Um, and both teams just going up and down. Three up, three down all day. Look at this ground out. He falls, he struggles, he underhand flips. Plenty of time to get the speedy Louis Batesh. Then there's this pop-up with a man on first. Jackie Eshko catches it, then drops it, and somehow turns two and gets the call. That double play would prove to be the final at bat for Hank the Hammer Shalem in a you gotta believe uniform. After the game, Nabi immediately hit the phones and started speaking to every captain in the league. He ended up trading on Tuesday on deadline day. Hammer and Hank, Abe Jeff Cohen, and Ruby Saka. Three great players, especially defensively. A center fielder, a third baseman, and a short center fielder to the Knights. The Knights were coming off of a sweep of their own. They sent out Michael Beta, David D.R. Rishti, and of course, Michael Mount Saban, one of the premier bats in this league's history. Where they're going to play defensively for you gotta believe is anybody's guess. They have Steven Batesh on this team already. Not sure where Saban goes. Not sure who plays third base for this squad. But Nabi trades away two bats in exchange for three in order to fix this anemic offense. You gotta believe on a four game losing streak, they fall to two and four, and to the moon get their first two wins of the year, they improve to two and four.